Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new War Dragons guide. So, today's video, I can't believe I'm doing this, honestly. Like, I don't know why. But, I'm going to be doing a Sorcerer's Guide. So, if you guys have not watched any of my videos, um, you will probably not know, and anyone who's watched my videos will know, I do not like Sorcerers at all. Um, as you guys can see from my lineup, I have no sorcerers. If you guys are wondering why I have Etten, I'm working on getting him maxed out. I'm going to be doing a uh, guide on Etten. Because a couple of people are asking, you know, I have Etten, but I'm trying to figure out how to use him. So, yeah, I'd be expecting that. But either way, so you notice I have no sorcerers at all. And I never have for about two months now. Um, and sorcerers just aren't that used in the game. Um, now, there are a couple exceptions to that. Obviously, the um, biggest exception will be, um, Kanar. Uh, because Kanar at lower levels is going to be, like, the best dragon for you, no matter what. Because I believe she maxes out, like, 11,000, um, like, power, and I think the next one's, like, 2.5,000, or something like that. So, Kanar is definitely... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, so I, I think, you know, for most people, sorcerers are going, not going to be used. But there are people, like Pixel, um, like a couple others that I personally know that really like sorcerers a lot. So this is for you guys. And if you're, you know, trying to figure out how to use sorcerers or the best, um, like, research path, I'm going to be going into that and runes. So, yeah. While we're waiting this for load, I wanted to first thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, congratulations to the two giveaway winners. Remember, if you want to be entered, all you have to do is subscribe and follow me on Twitter at X, owns Nemesis X, and or... Um, Send me in-game mail or put your in-game name down in the description below and I will add you to a War Dragons chat. Uh, sorry, 54 members right now. Very, very active. Um, if you want to, you know, just chat or anything like that, this is a really good chat for you to do that. So, as I was saying before, it quit out. So, overall, you won't see a lot of people using Sorcerers and that's other than Phasmos. So, research-wise, I went over this in my research guide. Um, if you have not watched that, I would hi highly suggest checking that video out. Um, I go into a lot more detail with this, but the top ones that you're really going to want to, you know, work on is the Essence of Rage. Now, this is inclusive of every single type of dragon, hunters, warriors, and sorcerers, but especially for sorcerers, their um, spells are really going to be what helps you out the most. Freeze and, like, Lightning, um, Tower, and Invert, those are probably one of the, some of the best. Freeze, in my opinion, is the best spell almost in the game. Um, because I should the one I forge. I have 200 plus of them because I use them all the time. So, you really want to get these Essence of Rage. So, at, when you start out the game, you can only have two Rage when you start out an attack. Um, of course, you can get up to five um, as it regenerates, but you can only start with two. But now, since I have all the Essence of Rage um, research completed... I start out with five. So for sorcerers, that's massive help because I can throw out, let's say, a fireball and a freeze and take out the first two islands without me taking any damage. And obviously, that's a big bonus since sorcerers don't normally do a ton of damage and normally don't um, have a lot of health. So you're really going to want these Essence of Rage. Now, another thing is, of course, you're going to want any type of research that includes sorcerer damage, like five plus 5% 5 dragon damage. Um, this is for all types, dragon, hunter, and sorcerer, so you definitely want to try to get these if at all possible. Any damage bonus helps any sorcerer, because they don't do very much damage at all. So another one is definitely going to be the enhanced freeze. I believe there's two of these, and that's plus one second freeze spell duration. So this is a double-edged sword, because one, it helps you freeze. So basically, it lasts longer, which you know means you don't take as much, you, sorry, you stop taking damage for one second longer, but also you can attack for a second longer without them shooting back at you and taking a lot of damage. So you definitely want to get this enhanced freeze. Other than that, if you're trying to stop war, now, sorry, stop sorcerers, and this is kind of on a second note, um, you're definitely going to want to get the, where is it, the blue mage, and the red magic um, siphon, it increases the rage stolen by red and blue mage towers, so this is definitely good against sorcerers. So, the next one, and this is runes, um, the best runes are obviously going to be rage. Uh, again, any any sorcerer, you're going to want to put rage on. Now, overall, you're going to want to put on at least 
one to two runes or even more of the resist that they have because you want to minimize the amount of damage a sorcerer takes like at maximum possible so if you have let's say two um archer resists for let's say um what's a sorcerer that's archer resist i believe vulcan does um no, no no sorry etzel does so put those two on because the less damage a sorcerer takes, the better, because the spells on sorcerers are immensely powerful. Um, they're one of the, you know, they're some of the strongest um, types of spells in the game, no doubt about it. Um, but you have to stay alive long enough to do that. So you're going to want to put some type of resist runes, and as many of them as possible. Of course, you also want to put on some, uh, let's say they have a freeze spell. You want to put a freeze rune on it. I did want to mention, as I answered in my Frequently Asked Questions video about runes, they are releasing new types of runes very, very soon. Um, I don't have a specific date, but just make sure that you keep a slot open during gold tier above, just in case they add um, a rune for that type. So, next is going to be, which are the best sorcerers in each um, tier? So, if you guys want to do, like, a like an overarching like um guide on every single sorcerer like every good sorcerer definitely let me know down in the comments and i can try to do that or if you're in that chat it's a lot easier but starting out first you have kanara um did they change the look of caster wait okay i'm afraid my game's gonna cry yeah i don't know okay so i'm just gonna go over them so best sorcerer in right here for sure kanara um and Blue t sorry, in purple tier, there's not really a good sorcerer per se. You have Garuda, um, which is a rare, um, and that's about the best sorcerer that you're going to get. In blue tier, by far, Etzel. Etzel does have Freeze. He does have Summon Warrior, which are two amazing um, spells in above themselves. Um, you know, Summon Warrior provides a really good meat shield, um, and Freeze, obviously, like I said, one of the best spells in the game. Next, you um, have Orange. Now, Obviously, you have Durga and you have Darjit. Now, out of the two, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, no, nah, you're, you're wrong about this. I'm going to have to say probably Darja. Sorry, not Darja, um, Durga. Sorry, they sound the same. Um, because you have invincibility, which is massive help. Um, because it basically makes sure that you take no damage at all. And lightning resist. Now, the resist itself makes such a big difference because storm resist is almost useless. Um, except for some XP bases, which have, like, two islands of really high-level storm towers. But other than that, you're wanna, you're going to want a lightning resist. So, I would say Durga is probably the better one. Um, and I'm actually having a video coming out very soon talking about the ruby purchasable dragons. Um, but I will get into that later. So, Nyx and Munin. Um, to be real honest with you, I would say Munin. Um, because, thing is, Nyx has a very good you know, resist, invisibility, but elemental mayhem is a waste, it's a complete waste, it doesn't work half the time, um, but since it, this technically does have elemental mayhem as well, but freeze changes the game, freeze at lower levels one shots every single tower, so having, you know, if you have five rage starting out, you can basically take out two islands on an XP base, so, and also in wars or whatever, so Moonin is definitely the best in that tier. Now, you have Sacronos, and you have CTH. Personally, I would have to go with Sacronos because, as you guys noticed, sorry, I'm going back and forth so much, you have Elemental Mayhem, which, as I said, a wasted spell slot. You're never going to use it, really. Um, you know, Invisibility is a really nice spell, but overall, Sacronos, you know, he has Thunderstorm, which is a really good, again, you know, you have Freeze, which I've already mentioned, Get some in Warrior. So overall, I would say Sacronos is a better choice out of them. Now, for the Platinum tier, and I'm not going to talk about the Sapphire since I don't have them. So the plat sorry, the Platinum tier is somewhat difficult to choose because you have Vulcan and you have Kelvin, both legendaries. So out of the two, I would have to say um, Kelvin because Vulcan Archer Resist is not as powerful as Ice Tower Resist. And also, Rising Phoenix doesn't work. It, there's massive bugs with it, and they have not updated it yet. So, and all these spells do work. And, again, Frozen Tomb is basically freeze on steroids. So, realistically, Kevin, Kel, sorry, not Kevin, Kelvin is probably the best option. 
But either way, guys, I hope this did help you guys in, um, you know, choosing some of the better paths to go with sorcerers. Um, if you want to see, like, a flying guide, definitely let me know down in the comments. Um, and I know this wasn't, like, super duper in-depth, but I did want to just go and get out a guide for those who did who do like sorcerers and are looking for, you know, the best research paths, the best runes, and, you know, overall the best sorcerers in each tier. So either way, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, leave a like down below. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.